Hello everyone and welcome to our detailed look at the important tab and how that's changed with our recent Polaris release. So the important tab you can see on the left, formerly known as My Messages, um, is intended to be a preset filter giving you access to useful information uh, very quickly and easily with the single click. Uh, previously, messages shown in the My Messages filter were dependent on whether or not a job tag had been followed or marked as important. The evolution to the important filter, though, is that there are now three criteria by which a message will appear in your important view. So firstly, retaining the functionality from previously, any job tag that is marked as important for you, or you are the person marked as responsible for that in your record keeping system, uh, will also show all of those related messages in your important filter. Secondly, uh, messages that we are following directly. So whenever we come across a message and we choose to follow it, those messages will now also be shown in our important filter because naturally messages you are following, uh, we consider to be fairly important for you to keep aware of. The final criteria by which a message might appear in my following, oh, sorry, in my important filter is messages from a contact that has been marked as important. So to hopefully allow for uh, the more streamlined following of full conversations and uh, full back and forth discussions with uh, individual contacts, we can now uh, mark contacts as important so that for us and only for us, uh, messages from this particular contact will be shown in my important important filter. So those are the three criteria which now displays a message in my important filter, but there are a few other changes worth just highlighting for now. The first of which is that the important filter now defaults to the all teams behavior. So we expand your important view across all of the teams and mailboxes that you have access to uh, to make sure that you're staying aware of all of the relevant and important information across all of your uh, assigned teams. However, if you prefer to keep the team level segregation between your important views, you can always just remove the all teams search token uh, found up in the search bar by just hovering over and clicking the cross. From there, that will default back to your default team token so that we can still keep individual important views from one team to another. If I am interested in creating a view of important messages across a selection of my teams, but perhaps not all of them, then I can create a simple search filter. So I can select the teams or mailboxes I want to look across, and then simply by searching for my name under the advanced filters options, I should have my important search token available um, so that here I can create the important view for whichever teams I want to look across. The final thing that's worth mentioning is that the important search token uh, can still be used as uh, the My Messages search token previously was. So if you did create any searches or filters um, with, the, um, with the My Messages search token, you will see that that should be automatically updated to the important token without you needing to change or amend anything directly. Um, and before we round off, I think it's worth just highlighting the difference then between important and following. Uh, we've mentioned that messages that I am following uh, specifically will be shown in my following queue. Um, so there is a bit of an overlap between these two filters, but they do work differently um, and have very different use cases. Um, so. Firstly, for my important filter, be aware that this is just an inbox filter, so an inbox view. So any message that I archive from this view uh, should disappear immediately um, and uh, will no longer be displayed in the message list. So do forgive the demo system being a little slow there. Uh, we can archive messages from our important view and use it just like an inbox filter. 
However, the following tab, the following view, uh, gives us a quick and easy view of all messages we're assigned to, regardless of whether they live in the inbox, in the archive, or anywhere else. So I can very quickly find all messages that I'm assigned to under the following filter, um, and that can also still be used as a to-do list uh, or a favourite space to store messages for quick and easy reference in future. Um, so the very final thing just to mention for today's video is just a, a quick note on the visual distinction. You might have noticed uh, examples here where messages have the little blue tab on the left hand side of the message tile versus um, messages that have the little blue tab to the left of the job tag. So just a quick word on the visual distinction between uh, a message that I'm following versus a job tag that's marked as important. So if a job tag is marked as important, it will have the uh, blue um, tag on the left hand side. Um, and likewise, if I'm following a message that will show the little blue token on the, uh, the message tile itself. So you've got a clear distinction between whether it's a message that's, uh, that you're following or whether it's a job tag that's been marked as important for you. Um, so that is all of the changes and the evolution that's been made to the important tab. Uh, for any further questions, please do either reach out to our support team at support at sedna.com uh, or contact your CSM. Um, we'll be happy to talk you through any further questions and details. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye for now.